What's up guys? So I'm here at ICAST 2018. Over my shoulder is the uh, on the water demo. Here with Bonafide Kayaks, the man himself, Luther Cyphers. I'm gonna twist his arm to get him to give us a walkthrough of the new Rise, the RS-117. So this is the full walkthrough of the Rise 117, RS-117. So I'm going to pry him out of this group of Motley Crew convicts and <laughs> work release programs. So they got this work release program down here where they let guys like that into jail for a day and supervise um, work. This guy right here is actually the bouncer that uh, that keeps up with all the convicts, and uh, he's kind of swolt, so you don't want to run. And he's got he's got what I have, fat agility. I Meaning, if you try to run, you are not going to get away. You say, "Oh, that guy's fat." Yeah, we'll we'll throw ourselves into the back of your legs and then beat you down. So, <laughs> anyway, speaking of beat downs, here's a boat that's about to put a beat down on the kayak fishing market because that guy right there's done it again. That's Luther Cyphers, Bonafide Kayaks. Luther, uh, somebody's paddling it right now, but uh, tell everybody what we're about to take a look at. Um, so it's it's the RS-117 Rise series, and the uh, idea is that something. people who are looking for an affordable kayak can rise up to a premium brand. Um, an authentically designed boat, something that's made in the USA, really well thought out features. It's got the hybrid catamaran hull, very similar to our SS series, so you're going to get the crazy stability, um, you know, excellent tracking at high speeds, all that stuff. Cool. Well, hey, Hans is in it right now, so let's go grab some performance footage real fast. And uh, everybody's trying to film the boat, so I got to work my way in here and be one of the kayak fishing paparazzi. That is the RS-117, that's the guy right there, Mr. Hans News, the, the designer, you know, out there showing what it does, taking it for a spin. It's got an open tank well in the front, it's got a uh, super comfy looking seat super that can be uh, maneuverable, uh, but yet uh, now, when you get and, some speed uh, going, uh, just like the space. whole Bonafide it's got features, family, like, uh, rod holders, it's going to track well, it's going to perform. Uh, uh, hatch in the middle of it. And, and there you uh, go. Anyway, a lot of the great features you find on the other Bonafide. But so anyway, like I said, everybody's here. There's a buzz around the boat. There's media crawling all over this thing. I got to wait my turn. But as soon as Han get, gets out of it, we're going to drag it up on the pier right here, the floating dock, and we're going to let Luther give us a full walkthrough of the RS-117. Luther doing a pretty much full walkthrough of the, not only the RS-117 as it sits now, but he's going to talk to us about some things that are going to change and what you can expect in the final product. So, all right, Luther, kick it off, man. So, like Chad said, this is a prototype. Um, we make our pro we design the boats, we make our prototypes, and then we see what we want to change. At this stage of the game for this boat, this is the end of, a, of the prototyping stage. We're going to make a few changes before we go to market. But as it is, this boat's gotten a really great response out here at ICAST. Uh, what we're going to do is just go kind of stern to bow, talk about the features, talk about what we intend to do with this boat, what we think customers are going to do with this boat. And you have to start that off with the name. It's the Rise series, the RS-117. Rise means we want customers who are looking for an affordable kayak to be able to rise their expectations to something that's that's uh, premium kayak, premium brand, authentically designed, made in the USA. All the made in the USA quality, ingenuity, everything that comes with it. So that's what the Rise series is all about. First thing you're going to notice, just like in the SS series, the stern handle is the closest thing to your body. You're not going to be reaching in board, getting all bumped around, trying to carry the boat. A little bit different handle design, and this is 3D print, so it's going to look a little bit rough. But basically, it's still in the fat grip family. We've got the oversized handle. It's going to distribute the load when you pick this thing up over more surface area in your hand, make it a lot more comfortable, and it's wide enough as well to get two hands on it if you have a rudder. Speaking of rudder, hold on. Everybody's blowing them up trying to find out about this RS-117. So, here we go. so speaking of rudder, you're going to see the rudder pin is actually in the handle. Um, and that's going to enable us to put all of the... We're, we're, one of the changes we're going to make is we're, is we're making a little better platform here for mounting a power pole. Um, we're going to push this back a little bit and we're adding an access plate as well. So you can put a vacuum plate in there for your power pole. Do any other kind of rigging that you want to do out here. But the rudder is actually going to install outside on the handle. And we'll talk more about the rudder install in a minute, but but really every aspect of that is a little bit different than what you would expect. Um, anyhow, moving on forward, 
You're going to see the tank well, called the multi-fit tank well, because it's got a lot of different configurations for how things can fit. You could put a black pack in here in either orientation. You could put a milk crate in here. You've got a little bit of a, of a ledge there for a five gallon bucket to keep that from sliding around if that's what you choose. Um, moving forward a little bit, you see a couple of pre-installed flush mounts that will be standard. Um, and then you've got a little storage area here for a plano box or whatever kind of tackle storage you want to do there. You've got, for the seat, you've got your little re retention for the seat to hold that seat down uh, once you get in the position. And then to change position of the seat, to go from high to low or low to high, you just tilt the seat up. The little feet in the front here are gonna disengage. Yeah, one more time so I can get it. Close. Yep, so we're just gonna tilt the seat up, take it out, drop it to the next slot, set it down, and that's it. And then if you wanna secure it, pop the little clip on there and you're good to go. You'll see on both sides of the seat, actually I'm going to take it out to show this. On both sides of the seat you've got some nice deep storage wells for putting, again, planos or you know spent lures or whatever you want to put there. You'll see a big giant gaping hole here. That's not a feature. That is part of being a prototype. That won't be in the production model, I promise you. So no hole. No hole. We're no in, free hole. Yeah, the, no. <laughs> the air hatch as we call it will not be there. We thought it was too small and let too much. So here's the deal. Let me explain to you why kayaks in general are so expensive since we're talking about this hole. It's not the plastic, okay? It's not the components. It's the magic air that is inserted into every kayak to make it float before it leaves the factory. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, it's the magic air. You've never told a woman to go get her winter air changed at the car dealership and they have you guys never done that like tell a yeah so if you know a somewhat gullible woman or, or girly man we're taking a departure for just a second have them tell them that they need to go get the winter air changed from their tires and send them to a like a car dealership that you know it it's fun anyway just do it because they'll sit there for an hour and a half waiting to get their winter air <laughs> anyway Move it right along. Magic air. That, it, magic air. So the other thing you're going to notice, nice little ledge on the front of the seat here. So when you do have your seat in, in the high position or even in the low position, you've got lots of storage underneath the seat. You can just slide stuff in right behind it. Um, tuck your planos in there, whatever you want to do. Deck traction, again, comes standard. Um, so pull that out one more time. I want to kind of make a quick point. But one of the great things about that ledge being there, since this kayak is a price point kayak and it's not coming with the junk drawer, is that if you put something under your seat, it's not going to end up under yeah. your feet, end up under your heels. Uh, for the folks that I've seen, you know, fall out of a kayak or fall off of a kayak, generally they've got like a, a scent tube or a lure or a weight or something that slides forward. They stand up, they step on it, throws their balance off and out the side of the boat they go. So that's a really clever to have that ridge right there so that if you do put something under the seat it keeps it from sliding forward. So, anyway. Yep. And then again deck, tra deck traction comes standard, something you don't usually see at this price. Um, we've got a Mighty Moon XL here in the center for mounting, you know, rod holder, fish finder display, whatever you want to put there. Uh, and then on the sides here right now, we have the Yak Attack GTSL track. We're going to change that to the Mighty Mount XL track from Yak Attack, just like what we have here. It'll just be the longer version of it. Um, we feel like that's a little bit better solution for this boat. Um, and then the foot braces, we're going to change these a little Actually, bit. Actually, you know what? Take a second since okay. we're doing this. So okay. talk about why the Mighty Mount XL is a better solution. So well, you know, let's, this, let's throw a little Yak Attack love this way. Yeah, so, so the track technology, manufacturing technology, whatever you want to call it, has evolved over the years. And the GTSL was originally intended to be a co really cost-effective track. It's really strong, really good materials. The Mighty Mount XL is just a, it's a little bit of a step up in strength. You've got two rows of screws, so your your uh, attachment to the boat is a little bit more secure. So it's just it's it's kind of the next evolution of the polymer track from Yak Attack. And one thing that I'll point out about it that I like the big features: if something loosens up and vibration going down the road, if you happen to not tighten it up enough or whatever, the the product is captured on the inside. Whereas with your older tracks, on this boat the design will happen, but it, with the copolymer tracks being open on the end, if something does loosen up, it'll just come right out the back of the track. Yeah. And with the XL, that doesn't happen. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and Yak Attack still produces this track because sometimes you don't have the space. But when you have the space, the Mighty Mount XL is a little bit better option. Now, we're going to talk about rudders. So I talked about the rudder pin being in the handle. Now we're going to look at the foot braces. We're going to change these a little bit, but they'll still have the same functionality. And that is squeeze to adjust, 
But if you want to turn it to rudder ready, you just simply flip a lever, and now you're in a sliding mode. So now you can attach it, use it to steer a rudder. So that functionality will come standard on the RS-117. Um, but what we've done with the rudder install is we've made it where you don't have to do stuff inside the hull. You don't have to route cables inside the hull, get the tubes through, flare them, melt them, do all that crazy stuff that you normally have to do to install a rudder. Everything can be done on the deck. What did, what did we say a little while ago, Chad? You know, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and throw myself a little bone real quick. Um, so Luther was explaining to another uh, vendor customer about how the rudder was going to work. And I was like, yeah, it's a top run rudder, so you don't have to deal with all that internal stuff. And he's like, it's like this. He went. That's what we're going to call the rudder. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, we've literally been laboring to come up with a name for the rudder. We're gonna call it the top run rudder. Like everything that we do, it's just it's about collaboration, man. But this is the first time we've actually come up with a really good idea when it wasn't after you text me at two o'clock in the morning to say, hey man, you got a minute? <laughs> so anyway, top run rudder, name, compliments of yours truly. <sighs> anyway. yeah. and, and top run is all about how you do the install. We've got these little pockets installed in different places and the way the rudder kit will come, you'll put these connectors in there and you'll actually put your rudder lines through that. So you do everything above the deck, on the top, top run. And here's right? the thing about top run as well. It, it says what it is, kind of a play on words, a little double entendre, is at $9.99 most boats aren't rudder ready especially rudder ready to put a rudder on without having to go internal and to do it in less than 10 minutes it's a top shelf product on a product that's rising to the occasion so it just fits the concept of the rise series it's a top run top of the line rudder for a premium kayak at a you know not break the boat not break the bank price so that's right it just fits. exactly the other thing we tried to keep is some semi-dry storage so you've got your your uh, little hatch here but you've got a tub with no scupper so if you want to put you know wallet keys or whatever in there as long as you don't push this thing underwater and hold it there it's going to keep it dry um, not intended to be you know long-term submersible but anyway a little dry storage there battery compartment for your depth finder you know things like that yeah you've got you've got the little front shield cover here which gives you the ability to stow things into in the tub on the front without them coming out or you, or if you want to just keep that open you can just remove that very easily just by disconnecting it and then a paddle pocket for stowing your paddle blade i don't have a paddle in my hand but basically you stow your paddle blade there gives you really good paddle stage in the very front, again, in the Fat Grip family, oversized front handle. Closest thing to your body is going to be super comfortable. And then the star of the show, I think, with any of the Bonafide kayaks is, is the hybrid catamaran hull. All right, guys, so one of the mistakes I make in every walkthrough video is that I'm trying to talk to you about the features. I'm trying to talk to you about the kind of top-down view. I'm always talking about performance, but you only see it out on the water with me paddling it or somebody else paddling it. So I learned from my mistakes over the years. In every video I've ever done in a walkthrough, everybody comments, oh, man, you should have shown the hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip. Literally, I've never done a walkthrough video where I was smart enough to actually flip the boat over and show the hole. So as Luther alluded to, sticking with what makes Bonafide what Bonafide is, performance, options, propulsion, the pop concept, that's all coming later. But anyway, we're going to look at the hole because you guys asked for it. So Luther, can you flip this thing up and show these guys the hole? Talk yeah, a little bit absolutely. about the design. So so uh, in, the, in the seven months that we've been shipping boats and that people have been paddling our boats, the things that we get the most positive feedback about is how incredibly stable, but still really good paddling the boats are. And that comes from this hybrid catamaran hull. And you can see here, you've got essentially a catamaran, you've got pontoon design, and then you've got a nose in the front. And there's a lot of there's a lot of nuanced things in this in this design that gives us that really, really good stability without compromising on, you know, making it paddle like a barge or be you know not agile or something like that hold it up a second longer so i can show okay. the stern back here so carry that theme all the way to the back double pontoon there's a better look at the handle from underneath and uh yeah even simple stuff like the way that the water comes out of the scuppers so that it doesn't do that bloop, 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 bloop when you're on the water are the things that separate bonafide from the rest of the field so guys that's it i gotta thank my my good buddy here and kayak fishing, um, actually product engineering, manufacturing 
guru, savant, uh, mad scientist, whatever you want to call him, Mr. Luther Cyphers from Bonafide Kayaks. Luther, appreciate it, Thanks, man. Brother. So that is the Bonafide SS 117 coming to a kayak fishing retailer near you in... October. October. Here. Not showing it and then making you wait forever. It's coming to you in October of this year, and it's going to come in at a price point of $999. $99. Sub $1,000 for a whole lot of kayak. You guys do me a favor, comment below, tell me what you think about the boat. Tell me what you think they did well. And if you think there's something that they missed, go ahead and throw it in there. I'm Chad Hoover with Kayak Bass Fishing. Hope you guys liked the video. Smash that thumbs up button if you can. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notifications to make sure you know every time I release a new video. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs>